All right, guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out. So I'm really excited about doing this little deal here because these guys just got in the mail and I unpacked them. But uh, this is the competition platform that I'm going to be using in my upcoming three gun. And let's just go over it real quickly. Uh, primary arms, one to eight platinum with the ACSS reticle. The cool thing about this is I've got this bad boy dialed in and I don't have any fear of trying to engage anything out to five, 600 yards with this, with the 77 grain. And I'm actually pulling up a bunch of my old loads, the 75 grain Hornady. And we're going to test that out this week again, just so I can see maybe that might be the better round. Uh, I don't know. But in any case, uh, using a Wilson combat barrel and all right. So <laughs> the gist of this whole video are these two guys right here. Uh, these are the Magpul Inbus Pro offset, um, Mag, uh, back up iron sights and the whole th thing stems from usually i wouldn't run back up iron sights on a competition gun like this but i am and the reason being is because the last competition we did we had this challenge where we used iron sights and as a matter of fact this is the exact same setup that i used on that deal and i really enjoyed shooting with irons uh as a matter of fact it just made it so E much easier for me to shoot up close CQB stuff. Uh, I'll play a real, real quick deal for you real, real, right now. Um, but we did the trench run where we had to shoot up real close. And there was a lot of those that we had to shoot up close. And not only that, but we had one that was like 80, 90 yards away. I had no problems just knocking the daylights out of it. So, uh, but this time we're going to be shooting out the distance. But there is the potential, I'll just say that, that we're going to have some real close stuff. Now, I'm usually not a big fan of uh, Inbus or uh, Magpul products. I keep saying that. I, I don't know why I do, but I, I, I use their mags. Uh, I, these are the very first set of backup iron sights that I ever actually bought. And literally, I've never had a problem out of them. They work. They're good. I, okay, so I'm going to keep using them. Same with the front. I mean, look at that front end on that thing. Isn't that awesome? Well, in any case, I decided to go ahead and put together a system utilizing these. Now, I've already unboxed them because they came as a pack, and I actually just saw them uh, out on my front porch, and I was like, i got to get them right now. <laughs> so in any case, I uh, just wanted to give a quick review, show you the reasons why I would use these things. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm really excited about using these. I decided to go ahead and give the Magpul Inbus Pros, and, and I think, uh, yeah, these things together, I, I paid $163, $166 for it. Is it worth it? You know, guys, um, at the end of the day, I'm hoping it is because really and truly, this uh, this is the upper off the Moar. This is actually my competition lower with the, uh, what do you call that, uh, the Hyperfire Trigger. That thing's just ridiculous. Uh, matter of fact, you know what? I don't even know what that thing's pulling at these days. Let's see. And I've got a bunch of different competition triggers, uh, right at two point two and a two and a quarter pounds. Uh, and you know what? As a matter of fact, I've got another one around here. The Elfman is is come in at two and a quarter pounds right now. But the cool thing about this guy, um, and off topic here, is just a short reset, and and, and basically that's the system I'm going to go with. So well, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and mount these. Now I'm, I will tell you this: I'm really impressed with them because they're made of steel. That's that's heavy duty. The adjustments are very nice. I'm gonna hold that up to the camera. You can see that. Uh, you do have the large and small uh, diameter peep holes there. I'll probably just run it in the large, if not anything, just to have something to line up together. The front sight post. Look how small that is. Isn't that amazing? And I like the fact that you don't need any tools. I'm I'm got I'm pretty excited about these dang things, man. Uh, it also is going to add a lot to my competition gun. And I'm finding out that I can run this uh, Wilson Combat Barrel is very accurate, uh, especially after six, 700 yards, which I have no big deals. Uh, I, I'm going to continue running it just like it is. So anyway, let's go ahead and mount these bad boys up. I'm going to pull those inbus sights off of this uh, thing, and let's see how it looks. Here we go. Stand by. Probably need to spend a little time cleaning that guy. Oh my god! Yeah, look at that. Ugh. That shows you how many rounds I've been running lately. Matter of fact, we'll just leave that out, and I'll tear it down and put some 
solvent on it and clean that up. That's a kind of a... All right, so let's do this. I'm also going to change uh, the Raptor out for the uh, Palmetto State Armory uh, Ambidextrous competition deal that I'm running on the other lower upper. Very cool. Now, where are these in-bus sites? These are the polymer style. I have yet to try the Inbus Pros up until now with the uh, the regular set, but I might have to make myself do that in the near future. Very simple, very easy, and I guess the big thing for the rear sight is to make sure that we have the, um, the movement that we need uh, to stow it out of the way and still accomplish what we want. So bringing it over here, I will probably... I want to be able to make sure, one, the charging handle is what I'm looking at is that, that there's clearance between the, I'm, you know what, I don't know. I don't know if that'll let it seat flat. It, it looks like it will. I'm going to leave it right there because, yeah, that gives me enough place I can flap it in, bring it, rub it down, do whatever else I got to do. So let's go ahead and put the opposing side on here. There's the screws. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. This is going to be, this three gun that we're actually all competing on, I'm gonna do the video on the Voodoo Tactical Bag. Uh, unfortunately, it started raining a few minutes ago and I really wanna do that review outside. I just wanna make sure that that's able to, no, nah, it's being pushed up. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and bring it back a notch. Don't go on it. Just make sure we slide it all the way to forward into that pick knot. Go. Perfect. Yeah, but see, if you do have to operate the charging handle with your left hand, you will be at a little bit of a disadvantage there. So the best thing to do is if you got to run it, run it, go with it like that. But that's what that looks like right there. Pretty cool. Lots of clearance. Let's go ahead and mount this other one here. Okay, so there we go. We're mounted on the front. That's cool. Got it on the back. We do have a clear vision on the 45 degree cant. Let me see if I can line those up for you so you can see. That's what it looks like. We'll go ahead and bring it out because we're probably not going to be shooting any long distance with this. We're going to drop that. But that's what you're seeing. Pretty cool. Nicely done. We can stow them away just like that. No big deal. When you go to run a jungle phase, you go ahead and pop these things up. And in tech ops, I can run hard irons on the rifle at a 45. All right. Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it. I uh, got these off of Amazon. I'll put the link down below if you're interested in it. Uh, right now, I, I did find a place that got these for $166. On occasion, you can find them cheaper. But uh, I was actually in a hurry to get these, and I'm just glad that they're here. So now I've got one less thing to worry about. Just snug those up a little bit. It's Code Boy 32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Look at that, man. I am, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited. This is turning into one bad mamma jamma. I'm going to tell you that right now. Look at that. It's Code Boy 32. I'm out. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Woo wee. That got me worried. Yeah, she needed to clean it. <laughs> so one of the other items that I wanted to cover was watch how smooth these are. Positive clicks. Very nice. Detent, ball detents, whatever you want to call it. That is very, very cool. Also, the same thing with the front sights. Unreal.
I like these things. And again, like I said, I'm not really a big fan of Magpul products, but this time around, I am. Very nice. I'm digging it. That will complete this entire package for sure. Fish here.